Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to today's workout. Today we're working on toning our tummies and our pelvic floor. So this is a combined pelvic floor, deep abdominal core workout uh, that you can do obviously on your lounge room floor. All you need is a mat, some carpet to lie on. And what we'll be doing is we'll be alternating our pelvic floor or Kegel exercises with our deep abdominal exercises to help you tone and firm in that area. So let's get started. I'm gonna lie down on your mat, find your spot. We'll just start with a little warm up exercise. So just bringing your arms down by your sides, feet are flat down on the ground. And let's start with the pelvic tilt. So we're just gonna flatten the curve, the back gently into the mat. And we're rolling backwards and now tilt back. So you're just rolling your pelvis back. Again, roll the pelvis back so you feel that flattening out of the back. Now roll back through and feel how far you can lift up. So you're really arching the back. And come back down now to halfway so that you've got a little space there. If you put your hand behind your back and that's your neutral spine, that's the position we need to stay in today because that's the position that activates these muscles and your pelvic floor will helps you activate those muscles the best. So in this position, we're just gonna start with the leg extension. So bring your hands up and we're gonna focus on keeping this core stable. Just taking the right leg and we're gonna take it out and extend and bringing it back in. So you've got your tummy muscles gently indrawn, not too firmly and taking it out, but you're just feeling that you're not moving your pelvis. So as you take your leg out, you might feel that you wanna arch out and extend. Try not to do that. We're doing five reps here in total taking it out you don't need to point the toe don't need to be fancy or well, you can if you want to one more time and take it out and bring it back and just a little pelvic tilt relax and back so if you're doing these exercises as well possibly not as easy as they look here we go other side so again core is engaged tummy muscles are on gently and let's extend taking it out and back and if you're not really sure about what I'm saying with engaging your core, you can check my beginner's core exercise video. It's linked up above and also in the description below. So just to give you a starters, if you're not really sure about what you're doing here, if you can't really feel your tummy activating, we've got two to go. And out, keep the tummy engaged, keep the breathing regular. And bring it back. And again, let's just tilt out the pelvis, rolling back and through. Okay, pelvic floor set one. Arms down by your sides. Here we go, we're gonna start by doing a squeeze and then a lift. So we're squeezing close the pelvic openings, the three openings, and they're gonna lift upwards inside all together. So you're doing back passage, middle, so vagina and the front. Let's go, squeeze and now lift and hold. Now one, two, three, keep lifting, four, five, six, and relax down. Take a nice deep breath in and let the air go. So if you have your hands on your belly here, you might find your lower abdominal muscles tighten or tense at the same time, a little bit, and that's fine with these exercises. You're just not trying to draw these ones in hard. Let's go again. So all three openings, here's your squeeze first, and now lift inwards. One, two, three, keep lifting up, four, five, six and relax right down and take a big breath in just allowing the muscles to recover and we've got one more of these before we move on with our tummy exercises ready and go so squeeze the openings closed and now lift inside one two keep lifting if you can three four give it all you've got five six and relax down nice big breath in and, out. and don't worry if you feel that your muscles fading away before I get to the count to six, that's fine. We're all different. Just do what you can do at the moment. All right, let's now progress our tummy muscle hold. So again, back hands back onto the pelvis. Gently draw your tummy muscles in a little bit. And now holding that pelvis, pelvis stable, let's lift the leg up just to 90 degrees and just a little toe tap. And again, we're trying not to excessively arch the back. So you're trying to keep really stable through this area. And that's what works, these tummy muscles here. So just keep it really controlled, slow and steady, breathing throughout if you can. One more time and take it down. 
and flatten out the back, a little relax, and back, and the other side. So check that you've got your inward curve, shoulders back and down, left leg coming up, lifting, keep the tummy muscles engaged, and now down slowly. I find if I point my toe too hard, I get a bit of a cramp in my arch. I don't know about you at home. So sometimes I like not to, to point too hard. Focusing on keeping these tummy muscles just drawn in a little bit. Just visualize drawing your belly button into your spine just a little bit. And one more time, taking it down and lift up and bring the leg down. Take a nice big breath into your belly this time, let it rise. And out. All right, pelvic floor set number two out of our three sets. Ready? We're going to go again, squeezing and then lifting inwards. Here we go, back middle of front passage, start now. Go, squeeze one and lift two, three, keep squeezing, lifting, four, five, keep going, six, and relax it right down. Big breath in and let everything go. So it's really important that you take the time to recover between each, each set of exercises that we do. All right, here's that, or in between each repetition of exercises that we do. So it's really important that you take the time to recover between each exercise that we do with our pelvic floor. All right, next pelvic floor, squeeze and lift inwards. Here we go, start now, go. One, two, nice and strong. Three, keep your breathing normal. Four, five, six, and relax right down. And as I said earlier, you might feel a little bit of tummy muscle activation. That's absolutely fine. Big breath in into your belly, let it all go, and relax it right down. It's really important that you relax your pelvic floor back to resting before your next exercise. Here's our last one, ready? Squeeze your openings closed, now lift inwards. Go one, two, three, four, keep lifting, five, six, and relax right down. Big breath in, and out. All right, moving on to our third and final core exercise. So again, neutral spine, so inward curve in the back. Bring your hands up. Let's go, lift the toe up. Tummy muscles are on and extend the leg out. Bring it back in and a little touch. Let's go again, lift and extend. Hold stable through your core, back in and down. Now you can see that I'm not pointing my toe along the level of the ground. I've got it on a bit of an angle. So just angle it when you take the leg out, extend it out, but leg raised and back and down and keep that lovely pelvic control, lifting. I don't know about you at home, but I can feel my tummy muscles starting to fatigue a little bit there. And down, have a big breath in and out. And let's finish up on the other side. Here's our last one. Okay, tummy on, engaged. Shoulders are back and down. Lifting, extending the leg, back in and take it down. Number two, focus on the control. Focus on this area working. This is the area we're toning. Number three, and extend and back and down, I've got two to go, nearly there. Stay with it. Try to keep your breathing regular. Stay controlled through your pelvis. And here's our last one. Lift and out and back and down. And now flatten out your back and roll back through. Now we've got one last set of pelvic floor exercises to go. You can stay where you are, lying on your back, or you could roll on your side if that feels comfortable or you can do them with me in sitting. So I'm gonna come right into sitting here just to demonstrate these last lot of exercises and bring your hands back behind your back. Make sure that you've still got the inward curve in your lower back. So I hope you can see that at home if you're gonna be sitting up. Really important that you've got that curve there to activate really well. Now, again, we're changing position so that we can actually lift against gravity now. So this is a little bit harder. So squeeze closed your openings and lift inside. Let's go. One two, three, keep lifting, squeezing, four, five, six, and relax right down. Take a big breath in and out. So remember, we're not squeezing our buttocks. We're not pulling the top, top part of the tummy in. We're really focusing the area 
in and around where we sit. Okay, next one. Here we go, back, middle and front, all three openings at once. Go, squeeze, lift, and keep lifting. Two, keep going, three. Come on, you can do it, four. Keep lifting, five. One more time, six. Relax down. Big breath in. And now, have a breather. Interesting the comparison between doing these lying down and sitting up. Sometimes you can feel them easier upright, sometimes not so easy. You just do what feels most comfortable for you. One more time, here's our last one. Go, squeeze the openings. Now lift inwards, one, two, keep going, three, come on, nearly there, four, five, six, and relax down. Big breath in and out. Now we're going to finish off with four really strong, quick lift and lower exercises. So pelvic floor again, strong and brisk for, for, the, for protecting when you cough and when you sneeze, and when you lift. This is going to be a squeeze lift and down. Are you with me? Let's go. One and down and two and down. Two to go. Big squeeze and lift and down. Last one, squeeze and lift and down. Let it relax. Wherever you are, big breath in. Let your tummy relax. Let your pelvic floor down. Let your tummy relax. Tummy muscles relaxed. So we've done our little core and pelvic floor routine. If you can do those pelvic floor exercises again one more time today, that would be great. I really hope you've enjoyed today's core workout. Don't forget to give this video a like below. If you've enjoyed this video, it really helps other people find the video too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.